Hello everyone, my name is Katie Harvey and I'm a senior lecturer in the section of Natural and Applied Sciences at Canterbury Christchurch University. I'm here today to talk to you about IVF, which I imagine is something that everyone has heard of. Well, for those of you that don't know, IVF, or in vitro fertilisation, is one of several different types of fertility treatments, alongside many others, that help people who cannot otherwise do so to have a child. Generally speaking, this involves incubating sperm and eggs together under optimal conditions in a laboratory setting. This is actually quite topical at the moment, as the last few months have been a particularly challenging time for people undergoing IVF treatment before the COVID-19 pandemic started, as IVF cycles nationwide had to be cancelled until it was safe for them to resume, and even now not everyone can be seen. What about the abbreviation IVP? Have you heard of that one? Probably not, I would guess. IVP, or in vitro production, refers to the generation of non-human animal embryos, usually livestock animals. The term IVP encompasses the retrieval of eggs, either from a live animal or from abattoir-derived ovaries. Maturing these in a lab, so they're at the right stage of development for fertilisation, and then culturing these resulting embryos, usually for five days. IVP embryos produced from the gametes, or sperm and egg cells, of selected parents represent an excellent resource both for improving food production, which I will talk about here, as well as for use in biomedical research. Interestingly, at the moment, IVP is more common in some species than it is in others. It's actually now quite common in cattle, for example, but it's not, very, it's not routine at all in pigs at the moment due to numerous challenges that you can read about here. Given that the global population is expected to increase by over 2 billion people between now and the year 2050, the demand for meat is bound to increase as well. Of interest here is that pork is the most widely eaten meat in the world and accounts for over 36% of the world's meat consumption. If we take these two ideas together, then this means that it is imperative for us to come up with a more sustainable way of producing these livestock animals. The establishment of production scale pig IVP could indeed be a solution to this problem. Not only would producers be able to increase the overall number of piglets that are born, but the transportation of embryos instead of live animals would mean that animal welfare would be improved as well. With these challenges in mind, research into pig embryology forms one of the two themes of the work that my lab focuses on. If this is something that interests you, and you're a student at Christchurch, or if you're intending to join us in September, then there are plenty of opportunities for you to get involved with my research as soon as you arrive. Thank you.